All right, y'all, pull back up. Pull back up. I got you. Let's get it. I'm gonna teach you a small form of. I'm, I'm gonna teach you a small form of my power. Cause it's your power too. I'm gonna teach you a small form of of, of magic. All right. So this is how you do. This is this is a, this is a small form of magic, right? How do you give yourself something that does not exist outside you? How do you generate something that is not being generated outside you? You got to remember, it's always been in you. The answer has always literally been within. No, Y'all don't take this shit literally. It's literal. The answer is within. So let me give you an example, right? Of how you give yourself power. Okay? Patience. You know why you don't have patience? Because you don't give it. You know why you don't have love in you? Because you don't give it. You know why you don't got mental strength? Because you don't give it. Now, as simple as that sound, right? Because it's always, a, it's always a duality. You can't give something that you don't have, but you can't have something that you don't give. So the, the truth is dualistic at all times. Y'all not looking at reality as two truths. You feel me? You're not questioning the things that you, the things that you are feeling. Be in. Be come. If you want to be happy, you must be happy. And you give happiness to others in order to increase your value. You give peace to others in order to increase your value. You give strength to others in order to increase your value. See? It's magic. Let me give you an example. If you go to the motherfucking the window or some shit that you buy, oh, I'm just making so you go to the counter at the store. If you see a woman is having a hard time, right? It don't matter if you having a hard time because you are in control of your emotions and your reality and y'all don't know each other. So she's not responsible or accountable for your shit. You're not responsible or accountable for the woman shit at the desk. So let's say you having a bad day because I've done this plenty of times and you walk into this motherfucking store and this woman is at the counter and she's in a rush and she taking all day and she fumbling shit and she fucking shit up. Or she might have fucked your order up, okay? And she might have purposely just been an asshole. Who knows? At the end of the day, whether she was an asshole or was it an accident, it's only one truth. You're not getting what you want the way you want it. Your service is not being rendered the way you would like. It's two things you can do. You can give yourself misery and negativity, or you can give yourself power. Now, if you say... Damn, hurry up, y'all always late every time I come up in this motherfucker. You are giving yourself negative frequency. But if you say, it's okay, beautiful, take your time. Don't worry about it. Yes, ma'am. No, no, it happens. Then you're giving yourself peace. So you don't know how to give yourself energy. And y'all motherfuckers is just spending y'all motherfucking energy on every person that you run into that you'll never see again. Half these motherfuckers, we don't, we never see them again. You just literally giving away your energy every time you leave the house. Every time a motherfucker say something to you, it's just, you just upset. What? You got to stop giving a fuck. You got to stop giving a fuck. If, if I was Buddha and a motherfucker asked me, Pharaoh, how do you reach enlightenment? I would genuinely say, stop giving a fuck. That's how you reach enlightenment. Don't want to be attached to things? Don't give a fuck about them. Bet you won't be attached. Bet you won't be attached. Stop giving a fuck. How about that? So it, it, it's two types. Of, it's two types of energies. Pharaoh, I'm gonna take this water bottle from you. Ah, uh, please don't take my water bottle from me. It's all I got, and I'm gonna die if I don't got it. That might be true. That might be true. That might be true. But if I hold on to that truth, then I'm giving you my power. Period. So guess what? Fuck this water, bitch, and fuck you, ho. I'd rather die of dehydration. And you can suck my nuts. How about that? So I still maintain my power. Y'all don't know how to. Y'all don't know how to maintain y'all power. And you walk in the room, and you let a motherfucker say you don't look beautiful enough. Put a wig on, and you go put a wig on because my mind is more powerful than yours. And my mind is so powerful, I can tell you what I think makes you look better. Y'all could. I could have never been born a female. 
Because I would have been, I wouldn't even been able to make it. I would have been like, nigga, if you don't take that lace front and shove that shit up your ass, nigga, get the fuck out of here. I wouldn't give a fuck if half my face get chopped off. Bitch, if I say I look good, bitch, I look good. I don't know. I don't give a fuck. What a motherfucker talking about? And that don't mean be naive. That don't mean be stupid. You know what I'm saying? That don't mean be crazy. But that means you got to hold your motherfucking power, motherfucker. And the way you hold your power is you be realistic. Now, I'm not saying go, nigga, if you can't sing, bitch, you can't sing. Period. Now, that don't mean you don't take singing lessons and develop the vocal cord modules to be able to produce a beautiful sound. I'm not saying you can't learn how to sing, but if you have not learned how to sing, we don't want to hear your ass. Straight up. So y'all niggas is, is giving away y'all souls. And now, here we go again. They about, to, they about to hook your ass up to a computer because you don't know how to hold, because you don't know how to maintain your power. A motherfucker tell you, I'm going to read for you. But nigga, I don't need you to read for me, nigga. I'm not no motherfucking kid. The reason that we do shit for kids, no disrespect to kids. I love kids. They stupid. They fucking crazy. They kids. They brain, kids are literally retarded. They brains are not developed. But they're also geniuses because they're, they're just di- living in a love, living in a frequency. Kids do all of my daughter do shit all the time where I be like, Damn, she don't realize that, but she don't. And so I got to be her power because she's powerless until she comes into her power. And then she don't need me no more to do nothing because she can do it. So my point I'm trying to make is y'all niggas is spiritual children. You psychological children. And and the motherfucker got to deal with you in a toned down manner every time because you can't handle shit. And motherfuckers be tell me the truth. Nigga, you not strong enough to hold the truth. Tell me, if a motherfucker asks me to tell him what I really think, nigga, you won't even like me no more. <laughs> you won't even like, Pharaoh, what you really think about that? Shoot everybody in the motherfucking house. That's what I think. That's what I think. Air the whole motherfucking house out, the kids too. That's what I think. Oh, nigga, that's harsh. We don't want, well, bitch, don't ask me what I think. Don't ask me what I think. Deal with what I tell you, I think. So that being said, y'all motherfuckers is not strong. Y'all not strong. And the government is playing on that. Let me feed you. Oh yeah, feed me. Let me count your motherfucking money. Count my money. Let me read to you. Let me let the fucking robot read. Oh yeah, you can read to me, Siri. Oh, let me tell you what the vision on the TV. Oh yeah, tell me what to see. Tell me what, re- tell me what the fuck world I should be living in. Because I'm not intelligent enough to create my own motherfucking world. Oh yeah, tell me what kind of women I should date. Tell me what kind of men I should date. And now they finna tell... Oh, let me go to the doctor. Tell me what the fuck I should put in my body. Tell me what... Tell me this. Tell me that. Tell me that. And you're being told what to do because the voice in your head is not louder than the voices outside your head. And every motherfucking voice that you hear has a message. Every motherfucking voice... I don't give a fuck if it's me. I don't give a fuck if it's the music. I don't give a fuck if it's the TV. I don't give a fuck if it's the nigga next to you. Your family... Every motherfucking voice that you ever heard in your life told you something. And the question is, which one did you listen to? You got a fat motherfucker talking about if you hear, bitch, you better hear a voice in your head. It better, listen, let me tell y'all something. If you ever find yourself in a, in a position where you about to do some shit that you shouldn't do, or somebody telling you to do something you shouldn't do, if a voice don't come on in your head and tell you no. Nigga, your head broke. <laughs> your mind is broke. It should be a voice in your head. Don't no disrespect to white people. But this is Western. I have to don't let white people tell you it shouldn't be no voice in your head. It should be a voice in your head. It should just be one. It should just be one. And so that gives you a, a ground for you to say, hold on, wait a minute, that's not my thought. What's this other shit? What's this shit? What's this shit telling me to do? What's that? Because they're literally sending people thoughts with psychotronic weapons. I'm not even playing. So you ever just get into a bad mood out of nowhere? The government probably projected that that shit at you. So I'm just being honest with you. I'm just being honest with you. If it's a motherfucker telling you to do some crazy shit and you not telling yourself, hell no, nigga, your mind is broke. Nigga, you out of pocket. It better be a voice in your motherfucking head. Hell yeah. And so the point I'm trying to make is... All this shit going on in your mind. 
Who the fuck is you listening to? Who the fuck is you listening to? Who are you listening to? You got 50 motherfucking rappers in your life. You got 50 motherfucking NBA niggas that you watch. You got 17 motherfuckers in your life that, that call your phone with bullshit. You got four motherfuckers that give you bad advice. You got the government. You got the TV. You going to school. You going to work. You got the police. All these motherfuckers is telling you shit every day. Who the fuck are you listening to? Who you listening to? If the answer ain't you, nigga, you've been crazy all these years. I'm here to tell you, you've been crazy. Yes. A motherfucker want to make you crazy and then tell you that you're not crazy so they can benefit off your mental illness. But they don't want you to be mentally strong because then they can't benefit off your mental illness. Hence where we are now. Gender dysphoria. Making motherfuckers crazy and then making them think that it's okay to not like their own bodies so that way they can turn your ass into a boy, a girl, or a robot for profit. And the motherfucker, and anybody who don't believe me, ask the CEO of Pfizer why he ain't take his own vaccine. Ask Bill Gates why they don't take it. But they'll tell you to take it though. That's because you crazy. And you a stupid ass bitch. And I know a lot of y'all feel like, well damn, I'm not, for, I'm not really crazy because I'm not. Bitch, you crazy. You're crazy. And I got to talk to you like this because it's the only way you're going to reflect and say, damn, Am I really crazy? Am I, have I really been listening to another motherfucker all my... Listen here. If the voice outside of your mind is the voice you listening to, bitch, you crazy. Fuck is you talking about? It better not be another motherfucker outside of your head telling you what to do. I don't give a fuck what nobody tell. I don't fuck about no doctor. None of that. Bitch, you crazy. If I can walk up on you and say, hey, drink this shit. Oh, it looks like a good idea. It says uh, FDA approved. You a crazy motherfucker. You a crazy ass nigga. It's no other. It's nothing else to talk about. If you don't want to do something, don't do it. That's it's just that simple. And y'all motherfuckers is giving giving these people excuses to fuck the whole world up because you too nice. And it's another thing y'all niggas got to stop doing. Right? Joking. Stop joking, dog. And motherfuckers look at me like, Pharaoh, you so strict, bitch. I play all the time. I'm the funniest motherfucker, but I don't play with life. I don't play with life. And I'm going to tell you why I don't play with life. Because it alternates your frequency. It alternates your frequency. Your brain does not know sarcasm. The brain only knows literacy. So if I walk up on you and I say, you a bitch ass nigga, shut up. You, even if you laughing, you've digested that in your consciousness. So if I say that to you for a year straight, that's what you'll become. You'll become what I perceive you as. So I don't let niggas play with me. Because I don't let niggas alter my reality and put me in a mental space they want me to be. Nigga, I'm a god. And when I'm in your world, I'm a god. And you, I'm not saying you can't be a god in your world. But what I'm saying is I'm a god too in your world. And you can be a god in my world as long as I can be a god in your world. And if I can't be a god in your world... Fuck your world, bitch. Go play by yourself, little kid. Cause I don't like to play with kids who don't play with who don't play with the frequency of God. Cause I don't play with kids. So that's all life is. Life is a movie that your soul is living. And the script is you. And you gotta write your own script, motherfucker. But you letting these people write your script for you letting these motherfuckers tell you what to wear, what to eat, what to dress, who to date, how many motherfuckers you can have sex with, how many husbands and what you letting these motherfuckers control your whole reality. And then you think you're not crazy. What do you do on a, on a daily basis that you want to do? Half y'all motherfuckers not even dating the motherfucker y'all want to date. You dating the motherfucker that your family said was a good match. You dating the motherfucker that your family said was good for you. That's why you're not happy. That's not, you don't want that. You nigga, be honest. Be honest. You don't want the good man. You want the nigga that, go get that nigga then. That's what you really want. Go be happy. Nigga, you don't want the good college girl that got, you want the freak nasty girl. Go get her then, nigga. I'm here to tell you to go get her. I ain't gonna say a motherfucker, is you happy though? Is you doing what you want to do? Nigga, go get her then, nigga. Go get her. So that's, let's just be real about it. That's why motherfuckers is depressed. You motherfuckers is sad. You motherfuckers is, is, is you dying inside. Because you're not listening to the voice in your head. And you're doing what everybody else tell you to do. 
You doing what everybody else tells you. Don't want the nigga that got the suit and the, that nigga corny. Let's be honest. But you don't want the street nigga that's going to throw his life away either. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. So you got to merge the two. Period. Niggas. All the niggas at home. Talking about you. Let, let, let me just say this, right? And let me let me give my disclaimer. I'm in a beautiful, happy relationship. I'm not talking about my relationship. If I come on here and I kick it with y'all, I'm just kicking it with y'all. I don't like when the trolls start trying to project what I'm saying on me. I'm, I'm just kicking it with y'all, being honest, because we adults. Now, with that disclaimer said, I mean, with that giving me me giving that disclaimer and not projecting this on me, but just putting it out there, men, right? Men, you know why you not happy at home? Cause you bored. Let's just be honest. You didn't want to marry the, you. You didn't want to marry the girl that went to church and did everything motherfucking right. Don't nobody want to be with no motherfucker that listened to everything they told. Nigga, steal something, everyone. Nigga, steal a piece of candy, nigga. We want it, bitches. You exciting, nigga? Don't, bitch. I don't do the speed limit. You know why? Cause I gotta remind myself every once in a while. You don't do everything you told the motherfucking do. Cause one day you may be told to do something that's wrong. So, bitch, every once in a while, bitch, I gotta rebel. I got to rebel. You know why? Because if I stop, I might forget to do it. And I could never forget to be a rebel. But with that being said, all jokes aside, coming back to the, to the facts, right? Nigga, you don't want the woman that get up every day and be boring as hell. That's not what you want. You want the woman that's going to be like, nigga, give me that dick. That's what you want. Yes. Stop lying. Yes, it is. You're lying. You want that woman that's going to look you in your eyes. And, and, and tell you, nigga, I'm about to, nigga, get in this room. That's what you want. So go get it. Go get it. Because you sitting here and you wasting this woman time. And you acting like a nigga that you not. Because you trying to be a nigga that you not. Let's be, be yourself, nigga. Be yourself. You don't want the female that's going to sit in the passenger quiet the whole. You want the female that's going to reach over while you driving. And give you some head. That's what you want. So go get it. Go get it. Y'all motherfuckers is not living y'all lives. And y'all dying inside. And you fighting inside. And you battling with motherfuckers. And you and you creating chaos and war in your motherfucking house. And, and you creating enemies into motherfuckers that's not even your enemy. How is your spouse your enemy? Your spouse is not supposed to be your enemy. How is your friends your enemy? Y'all motherfuckers be having... Y'all motherfuckers be breaking up and be having murder five beef with your ex. Yo, you not supposed to have beef with your ex, motherfucker. If anything, that's the end of the journey. But you're not supposed to... y'all. The point I'm trying to make is... The levels of chaos that y'all motherfuckers have in y'all lives... 80% of it is you. It's because you're not doing what you was true to your heart. Period. Period. A lot of motherfuckers say... Farrell, why you don't have no friends? I don't think niggas is gangster enough to be my friend. I don't think you hard enough to be my friend. So I don't hang with niggas. Because if I hang with a nigga... For too long that I don't see as being my type of cup of tea, it's gonna make me sad. Because it's, I, so I don't hang with, I do what makes me happy. I don't think niggas is, nigga, if you wouldn't try to break me out of jail, you can't be my friend. Nigga, if you, if you won't, even, if you can't take the police on a high speeder, you can't be my friend. Period. Nigga, if you ain't gonna ba bang it out, nigga, what if I don't feel like going to jail? What if I don't feel like going to jail? If we in the car and we get pulled over and I say, bro, I don't feel like going to jail today, nigga, we on a speeder. If you ain't gonna say fuck it, yeah, you can't be my friend, nigga. You can be my associate. You can be a nigga that I chat with from time to time, but you cannot be my friend. Let's be clear on that. Because that's how I give it up. I'm a law-abiding citizen, and I don't have no problems with the police. But at one point in time in my life, I will take you on a speeder. I will punch you in your mouth. I will slam you. I'm not, if I feel like I'm not going to, bitch, I'm not going to jail. That's what it is. So if you're not hired like that, you can't be my friend. Nigga, it's that simple. So I don't hang with, I'm true to myself. I'm true to myself. And I preserve myself. That's why I don't hang with niggas. So with that being said, nigga, learn who the fuck you are. Everybody not no gang. Everybody not like that. That's cool. We accept people for who the fuck they are as long as they not disrespectful. And I feel like respect is so powerful because respect is the glue that holds us all together. You can be short. You can be tall. You can be fat. You can even be... Let me, let me show you how powerful respect is, right? Y'all know for a fact, I do not play that homosexual shit at all. Not trans, not trends, not in trend, none of that. But I will treat you with genuine, pure love. 
because I respect you as a soul. Now, yes, I think you confused. Hell yeah, I think you lost. But I still think that you're you. Whoever the fuck you want to be at the time that you are in your mind, I respect you. Period. You can put me around a motherfucker that's on medication and that's crazy. I'm going to respect them. I'm not going to make fun of them. I I'm going to respect them. And then when they come back to life, I'm going to show them that same respect. And you know what they're going to say? They're going to say when I was fucked up in my head and I was in a crazy house in a straight jacket, that man respected me. And now when I'm on top, that man, he never, he never disrespected me. So y'all niggas don't understand the virtue of respect. You can be who the fuck you want to be. If you wake up and decide you want to be goddamn Mickey Mouse today, that is your prerogative. As long as you don't disrespect me or as long as you don't commit a crime against me, we don't have a problem. And I feel like the world is so disrespectful. Niggas is trolling. Niggas is out of pocket. Niggas don't know how to wash their mouth. Women don't know how to wash their mouth. Motherfuckers don't know how to wash their tongue. And this is why can't nobody express their mind because everybody's afraid. To be disrespected because you pussy. And you're not going to do nothing about it when you do get disrespected. So let's just be clear on that. Nobody wants to enforce respect because you don't even have the power to enforce respect. Because you never gave yourself that power. How many of y'all going to just cock a nigga in the mouth? You not. So you not going to never have no respect. What are you talking about? The police cannot make you safe. Nigga, if I want to kick your motherfucker, let's just be clear on it. Right now, today. With 2,916 people in this live. I'm telling you. If I want to fuck you up. Nigga, I'm going to come fuck you up, nigga. I don't give a fuck about no motherfucking police or none of that. I'm going to come fuck you up. Now, why is this important? You got a false sense of security. You think the windows on your motherfucking house really keep you safe? You think the lock on your mother... If a nigga want to come in there, they coming in there. The only person that's going to ever stop a motherfucker from harming you is you. And you got to develop that power. If you don't want somebody to put their hands on you, you got to become strong enough to stop a motherfucker from putting their hands on you. If you don't want a motherfucker to psychologically dominate you, you got to become psychologically strong enough where can't nobody play tricks on your mind. If you don't want a motherfucker to devalue you, you got to become so valuable that a motherfucker can't devalue you because they can't deny the truth. You have to develop the power that you wish to wield. And you don't have no motherfucking power because you've been giving your motherfucking power away all your motherfucking life. To the government, to the people you date, to the motherfuckers around. I don't give a... Man, y'all niggas got me fucked up. What? You want to know how much power you want to know how much power young Pharaoh got? I'm going to show you how much power young Pharaoh got. Ask me how I've ever been curved by a female. Ask me in the chat. Young Pharaoh, you ever been curved? You ever shot your shot and just got dubbed? You ain't even get a response? Past or present, ask me. Ask me in the comments. I'm going to tell you how much power I got. Yes, I have. And guess what? Fuck you too. Straight up. You ain't got to like me. Fuck it. I thought you was cute. You ain't think I was cute. Fuck you. I still think you cute though. But fuck you too, broad. Fuck it. Fuck it. That's how much power I got. Ain't nobody got a motherfucking... Ain't nobody got a mother... You ain't got to lay down, motherfucker. If you don't think I'm cute, well, bitch, I thought you was cute. You missed out. Fuck you. How about that? That's how you're supposed to live your life. That's how you're supposed to live your motherfucking life. You're not supposed to be out here breaking down because a motherfucker don't accept you. Bitch, fuck you. You don't got to accept me, motherfucker. I accept me. Fuck is wrong with you. So, let me show y'all something about the throne. This is the last jewel I'm going to drop. Let me show you something about the throne. Let matter of fact, I'm gonna pull somebody up. Who wanna come up? This the last. Let me let me let me let me see who wanna pop out. Pretty Susu, what's up with it, goddess? How you doing? Who wanna who wanna come in my live for a demonstration? Who wanna come in my live? Let me see. Who wanna come in my live? Jump in the comments. Have, please have good signal, or I gotta get you out. We on the floor. Don't come in here. Don't come in here with. Don't come in here with your one G. Please, don't come in here with your 1G today. We don't want 5G, but we don't want 1G either. Who want to come in here for a demonstration? Let me see. Let me see. Let me pull my boy up. Bro, I said pull up a queen. You already know that. No disrespect, but you already know. You already know. I'm going to pull up somebody that I don't know 
royal goddess, I see. I'm gonna pull up somebody that I don't know, so that so the energy is not even comfortable. That way, that that way, that the state of the mind is completely, completely, completely free for them. To, I mean, they completely got to think on their own. No, not even, with no comfortable provisions from myself. Let me see who want to come up. Y'all better jump in the chat. Let me see who this is. Okay. I don't know who this is. I just see that it said me. Let me see. Yo, I, ho I hope this is a real person. Please tell me this is a real person. Please tell me this is a real person. If you're a troll, I'm going to get you out of here just as fast as I'm serious right now. <laughs> how you doing, beautiful? I'm fine. How are you? I'm all right. I'm all right. Listen, I didn't think you were going to pick on my name. Thank you for participating in this live uh, exercise. And so this right here is, is a mental exercise that I'm going to use to deliver understanding. So I just want to listen here. There's, let me say this before we go. There's no right or wrong answer. I'm not trying to trick you or catch you up. I'm just trying to show people the power of directing your thoughts on your own self, right? So I want to ask you, right? Let's say you was a queen, okay? You had this kingdom. You had all of this shit. And you had all of this empire. And then invaders or colonizers came and they fucked up your civilization. They took everything you ever had. They just destroyed it, right? And they stole all of your goods. Now you looking to rebuild, right? And let's say not only did we steal your shit, we took you from a land that you from, you just woke up out of a, we didn't knock you out. You didn't woke up somewhere in a foreign place and you looking to rebuild your kingdom. Mm -hmm. The first thing you gotta find though, or your queen, excuse me. The first thing you gotta find though, is your throne. Where is the first place you going to look for your throne? And I don't know nothing. I just woke up and out of blackness. That's right. All you know is what you had. Um, I'm gonna look in myself, I guess. That's right. But so how? Are you, so so, what's the first steps that you would take to rebuilding your throne? Um, I guess the first thing I would try to, I guess, remember what I lost to begin with. Okay, so. Ask you that question two more times in a row. Okay. What's the first step you would take to rebuilding your throne? I guess figure out where I am. Okay. Now this is the last time I'm gonna ask the same question. What's the first step you would take to rebuilding your throne? Um. <laughs> I I don't know. I guess where do I want my throne to be? That's a good answer. So, so for that answer, I'll ask you one more time. I, I'll give you a, I'll give you a fourth question. I'm gonna break my own rules. What's the first step you would take to rebuilding your throne? Get my shit back. I don't. <laughs> now let me tell you something, right? Everything uh -huh. that you lost, you only physically lost. You didn't really lose it. Right. It was in your mind. Let me ask you a question, right? Where did you get all that shit from the first time? I got it. I went and got it. You made that shit up in your mind. Yeah. I just went and got it. Yeah. Right. So, so what I would do is I would go, depending on it, where I'm at. I'm, I don't know what the wood or what the environment. Right. Let's say I'm in the motherfucking forest, right? I'm going to go get a tree, and I'm going to make a chair. And that's my throne. And then I'm going to circle my parameter, analyze my threats, and then every week I'm going to venture a little bit farther out from where I sat that chair. And I'm going to meet people. And I'm going to network. And I'm going to run into people. And I'm going to show people my value. And by the time two years go by, that wooden chair would have become a golden chair. The throne is wherever the fuck you sitting at at the time. Sure, that's true. And it builds itself based off of the wealth of the person that's sitting in. Right. So everybody is, this is what I'm, this is your mind. Everybody looking outside their mind for wealth when the wealth is right there. Yeah, All you got to do is bring out the, 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 the value in you. Right. This, this cotton ass chair right here. Thanks. Just <laughs> the throne, baby. That's Just the nice. throne. Until I can turn this motherfucker into gold, the cotton in the wheels is going to have to do. So this is, this is what, this is what, this is what, I'm going to say this. Games, right? 
games are exercises to test the strength of your mind. The type of games that you play and the level that you play on determines the type of person you are. Some people play the game and they put it, like, I play games that niggas wouldn't play and I play it on hard. Like, I would play Metal Gear Solid on hard. You probably never even heard of that. I have not. <laughs> well, it's, a, it's a PlayStation game. But the point I'm trying to make is hot potato, right? Yeah. Hot potato is a game. But it's the game of it's the game of the disturbed soul. Hot potato, hot potato, who has the hot potato? If you have the hot potato, you are out. What are you you out of the game of life? If you're not comfortable in yourself and you're not stable in your being, you're not creating. If you're not if you're not influencing your individual world, you're not influencing the collective world. If you never invent nothing, if you never create nothing, if you never do nothing, how the hell are you going to inspire somebody else to do something? So the throne is in your mind. And, and, and the throne proves itself by your value. And he or she who prepares not themselves, who, he or she who is not prepared, prepared not themselves. And so this is what I want people to realize. We ain't got to, we don't need no motherfucking vaccine. No, All we need to do is sit the fuck down, get our minds right, and then come out the house. We gotta stop coming. It's like it's like getting it's like motherfuckers getting up in the morning and they not getting dressed in their mind. They not they not putting putting clothes or armor on their mind and then walking out. Motherfuckers is just walking out the house naked, naive, don't know what's going on. And so knowledge is the attire of your mind, and what you know is what you wear. And if you playing kid ass games in life, you a nine times out of ten you a kid ass person. So. I was just asking that question, and I won't hold you hostage for too much longer, just to show people that look, look how look how long you was dwelling outside yourself. Right. Now that that opens the door. Now I'm I'm your people, but what if I was wicked? Now what if I was to tell you, hey, I got your throne over here, and right. then you come looking for this motherfucker, and I kidnap? Right. Why? Really, you kidnapped yourself because you looked outside yourself. Yeah, and that's how you give me. Boom. So now it, it comes that crossroad. Is the voice that's in your head weaker than the voice that's, that I, that's, that's coming out my mouth? Right. Can I convince you to listen to me over you? And that should never be the case. The right. only time that should be the case is when you listen to you and you factually calculate that I'm right. Right. Period. Other than that, if you, if you, look, if you look at you and you face a fact, and you say, damn, this man is right. That's the only time. Other than that, if that shit is sketchy or nego, nah. Right. But that was just the point I wanted to make so that people could realize how we being trained to think. We being trained, basically our, our parents, we, 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 we grow up following our parents around the house, but right. our parents turn the government or, or, or idols into our parents. And then we stop following our parents around the house and we following the TV around the house. We right. following the music around the house. And next thing you know, you following a thousand different people, and they don't even know where they going. Right. So how do I mean, so, so, blind leading the blind is how we exactly. So it's like how we go, how we going how we gonna come back to God, or how we gonna get back on the throne? And you sitting on it, and you looking for it somewhere else, and we don't realize we sitting on it. So it's it's it's, it's the story of um of uh what's that movie, The Wizard of Oz. Yeah. The, the science you yeah, like go you got a woman the, the red shoes is symbolic to fresh and blood the tin man is symbolic to being um is symbolic to not having yeah not, basically not having no emo you know not being having emotional control okay. the the lion is symbolic to not having courage and the straw man is symbolic to not having a brain and if you if you add them up if you don't realize that you have to develop your own courage you have to think for yourself you have to control your own emotions because you are a flesh and blood person. You would never realize that you on the yellow brick go you on the go motherfucking yellow brick road, made of gold, looking for wealth. And, and you on there. Telling her you've been home the whole time. Boom. Right. This whole time you ain't never went nowhere. Come on. And yep. so it, it's <laughs> only a long way from Dorothy was only a long way from Kansas because she was a long way from Kansas in her mind. Right. Yeah. So as long as you grounded in your mind, you know what I'm saying. Like in my mind, I know that I don't live in nature, but I know how to, I know what I know how to reach in nature and calculate. I know how to look at a doctor and say, "Hell no, don't no vaccine growing no damn tree." 
You know what I'm saying? So we, I you my, um, I have been vaccinated. My daughter's six and she's not been vaccinated and has never been sick. And I be telling people all the time, like my yes, ma'am. I didn't mean to make her like my own personal study, but she's like my living proof. You do not need vaccinations. She That's didn't right. take care That's right. her in everything. She'd have been around other kids. She has not been sick. Now my son, who's 14 was vaccinated and this is how I learned and then and he was you know black boy big right. to me he's only 14 already standing at 5 8 wearing a 11 size shoe right <laughs> and gave him ADHD all this other stuff but yet your IQ is above average like that type of stuff just don't make sense to me but he was right. and I be That's right. That's right. Well, we, 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 know, we know the game That's right we know the game we like to play and I ain't going to stop till we got our own shit so it is what it is, but um, I ain't gonna hold you hostage going here too much longer. I appreciate you uh, participating. Thank you, beautiful, for coming up, and may you keep watching. I definitely will. All right, sweetie, thank you. Bye. Peace. All right, y'all, beautiful black woman on the live. Love to see it. Love to see it. But yeah, so that's the point I'm trying to make, y'all. Okay, that's the point I'm trying to make. Stop searching outside your motherfucking self. And 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 and, and, and what y'all need to. And this is another thing. I'm going to say, I'm going to give y'all a jewel. People that's mean to you, okay? People that's mean to you all the time. Or people that's, you know, kind of kind of strong. It's two types of mean people. It's people who mean to you because they're trying to make you mentally weak. And it's people that's mean to you because they're trying to make you mentally strong. You feel me? And, and this is what I mean by that. When you realize the power of your own mind, it's two things you do. You help people realize the power of their own mind, or you weaken people, you, 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 you illusion people to the power of their own mind so that you can have the strongest mind. So now why is this important, right? If I'm telling you, nigga, get your ass up. How am I saying? Am I saying it in a way where you believe that you weak and I'm and I'm ashamed that you can't get up? Or am I saying it in a way where I feel like nigga, you stronger than what you believe you are, you get your ass up. Because if you can't make that distinction, you're not using your mind. You're not using your psychic ability. So I'm going to say that again. When you, when, when people that's mean to you or people that's strong to you, like me, I'm trying to get you to be strong. But I'm trying to respect your free will. So yes, I'm a little bit bothered and a little bit aggravated because you acting like a dumb motherfucker. And you don't realize that common sense is not common because you're not using your common senses. You're not using taste, touch, sight, sound, smell in your mind to perceive what you're going through. You keep looking outside yourself when the answer is right there. So the point I'm trying to make is it's called tough love. Tough love is the best love because it's, it's, it's something that I'm forcing you to give to yourself. Motherfucker, if we go jogging, nigga, and you fall behind, bitch, I'm not. What you talking about? I'm going to be like, nigga, catch your ass up because I'm trying to give you the strength to say, let me catch the fuck up. I'm trying to give you that strength. If you come in the house crying and you say, the motherfucker up the street took my bike, I'm going to say, nigga, you better go get your motherfucking bike. Not because I think you pussy, but because I'm trying to tell, I'm trying to put something in you to make you say, nigga, let me go punch a nigga in his fucking mouth and get my bike. You know why? Because when you go down there and, and, and they jump you, I'm going to come down there and raise hell. But I can't raise hell until I see you develop your own strength. Now, you might say, Pharaoh, where are you going with this? You wonder why the ancestors ain't in your life? You wonder why, you, why, 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 the, why, the, why the supreme beings ain't in your life? Because you're not in your own life. Nigga, you think our ancestors are some weak motherfuckers? Hell no. Nah. You think extraterrestrials and motherfuckers are, is, hell no, nah, they're not weak. If they see, nigga, if you give up on you, I'm going to give up on you. So imagine a spiritual being that's, that's on a whole other dimension and been existing throughout multitudes of realities and dealing with all kind of motherfuckers. You think they gonna stop for you? Hell no. You, I know exactly why the ancestors chose my vessel. I remember the day. I remember the exact day I felt a spirit come into my body. I don't fuck with nobody said. Phil, you, whatever. Nigga, it ain't the devil. I remember the exact day. And I remember why I was chose. Because I chose, because I don't give up. I don't give up. I'm going to fight you to the motherfucking death, nigga. And if I can spit my blood at you while I'm dying on my back, bitch, I'm going to spit it. And, and it's a strength in there that the ancestors seen they could use in me. 
and I allowed them to use it. And I don't have a problem with saying it. So with that being said is, motherfucker, ain't, no, ain't nobody going to fuck with you if you don't even fuck with you, let alone the spirits. What the fuck they want to, nigga, a soul operates off frequency. If you ain't got the frequency, why the fuck would they be? They not talking to you for your body. They don't have one of those, motherfucker. You can't have sex with your spirit. They don't have a body. All they can do is have a, all you can do is share a feeling, nigga. So when I get that feeling of I'm about to punch this motherfucker in the mouth, that's when my ancestors utilize me and send me my messages of do or don't. Feeling. That's, that's telepathy. Huh? I'm giving you the game. Feeling. Huh? Feeling. It's messages in it. You better learn. But the point I'm trying to make is that's why y'all motherfuckers ain't got no good spirits in your life. Who the fuck want to be around a depressed, self-defeated, unmotivated, giving up ass motherfucker all day? Don't nobody want to be around you, motherfucker? Nobody want to be around you in the flesh, let alone in the spirit. What the fuck wrong with you? So you got to turn up on a nigga, motherfucker? You can't be down here like that. Ain't no spirits going to be in your... Listen, I'm trying to give y'all the game in a way where it's not too direct, but it's still direct. And I hope, honestly, that y'all catching on. Because I'm trying to show you how to connect back with your ancestors without telling you. Because you have to use your own free will to do so. I can't do that. Or else I'll be violating, you know, your law as an individual being. But I hope that you hear what the fuck I'm saying to you, dog. This is how you connect to the spirit world. You don't need no motherfucking pastor. Nigga, you take whatever you feel in the most. Nigga, I don't give a fuck if you feel rage. Nigga, rage. Use rage. Don't, don't let no, let, let me, let me tell y'all one more thing and I'm gone. The level of rage, right, that I reach. I'm going to show y'all how much rage I got in. And it ain't, it ain't all out. Motherfucker, I'm working on it, though. But it ain't all out. I'm going to tell y'all how much rage I've reached. Motherfucker, I've been, you ever been in a room and you can't get out? And you want to get the fuck out? And you can't come out? And you got to be in this room for 90 days. I didn't get 90 days a couple times in a box. I can't come out. I'm hungry. It's cold. It's snow on the door. The police being an asshole. Keep making hella noise. I can't go to sleep. Nigga next door talking about some shit I don't give a fuck about to another nigga. But I can't tell him to shut the fuck up because it technically ain't my business. I just don't want to hear that dumb ass. And I'm in a state of rage. On top of the fact I'm not supposed to be in here. This not my motherfucking gun. And motherfucker, I'm in a rage. You ain't never been in a... I, listen, I was in such a rage. If I really show you, y'all motherfuckers will log off. Y'all be like, that nigga put... Bitch, I was in a rage. Let me out this motherfucking room. Bitch, I want to, you ain't never just kick a door. I'm going to tell you why, because you've never been in that state of rage. Bitch, I've been in a state of rage so high, I remember just being in my cell, just kicking my door. Boom, 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 boom. Because I'm so motherfucking mad at the world. And that's the level of rage that I channel into knowledge. That's the level, that's the level of, so when y'all motherfuckers see me doing this research and then, and y'all like, what's driving this nigga? That's what's driving you. And you're not going to beat that. You're not going to beat that. You're not going to beat that, nigga. You're not going to beat that. That person that was bang, 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 let me out. That's the motherfucker that's reading these books. That's the motherfucker that's getting this now. And half of y'all niggas ain't on that. You never, you, you never built that much pressure up in your heart. So my point I'm trying to make is, what 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 does a spirit have to do with you? You don't have nothing a spirit can utilize. Nigga, I had courage, rage, loyalty, bravery, and drive. So I was a vet, I was a worthy vessel. Y'all motherfuckers is not worthy because you're not making yourself worthy. What are you doing? Are you loyal? No. So why would a spiritual being Come trust you with knowledge. You're not loyal, motherfucker. You're not even loyal to the motherfuckers that's around you. You're not even loyal to the motherfuckers that's in your everyday life. But you think a, a spirit is going to come drop some motherfucking knowledge off in your life? Hell no, because you a disloyal ass bitch. What do you stand for? You don't got no principles. You don't got no morals. You don't got no do's or don'ts. You don't got shit that you would die for. But 
You want a spirit to come touch you. You want a motherfucker to come bless you. Bitch, you ain't doing nothing worthy of being blessed. You're not a real nigga in private. So how you going to be a real nigga? In so that's the point I'm trying to make. I ain't saying I've been perfect all my life, but I made myself worthy of my ancestors. And my ancestors decided I was indeed worthy. And if I ever make myself unworthy, y'all going to see me, y'all going to see them leave. Just like you've seen them come. Straight up. Straight up. I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm I'm doing this. Shit. Bitch, I'm doing this shit 80 to 90% by myself. The other 20 be straight meditation and all kind of shit. So I'm just going to let y'all know you got to you gotta carry yourself in a, in, a, in a worthy manner so the spirits can touch you, so the spirits can channel you, so the, so the creator can touch you. Motherfucker, a lot of y'all motherfuckers is talking about you don't got no relationship with the creator. You don't have a relationship that the creator would deem worthy of having with you. You don't have a relationship that the creator would deem worthy of having with you. So, of course, the creator not going to talk to you. You're not even talking to you. You're not being, you're not doing nothing for yourself of principle. You're not doing nothing for yourself that's of justice. You're not doing nothing for yourself that's of knowledge. What are you doing? And then you, but you want, you waiting on a God. How do you know God didn't come back and look at your ass real quick and say, fuck that nigga. I'm not fucking with him. Why would I fuck with him? He don't do nothing right. He don't even do right by himself. Y'all motherfuckers waiting on Jesus to come back. What happened if you, I don't even believe in Jesus. He's not real. But the point I'm trying to make is whatever deities that you are waiting on, right? What if you die? What if you die? And then you go up to that deity and that motherfucker say, nigga, I came to you 20 years ago, nigga. You was, you was motherfucking, you was terrorizing your baby mama. Nigga, I, nigga, I came to you and you was in a club, nigga, getting shot at after the club and you shouldn't even been there in the first. Nigga, I came to you. What's going to happen when the motherfucker you was waiting on say they came and you wasn't worthy? Motherfucker, period, 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 period. Period. What you want me to say? I don't know what to say. Nigga, make yourself worthy, motherfucker. So when it's your time, you will be chosen. It's just that simple. It's just that simple. Period. It, period. Period. I don't know what to tell y'all. Somebody said try LSD. Don't, don't you try no LSD. Don't be listening to niggas in it. Don't be listening to that voice outside your head. Don't be listening to these niggas. Straight up. Don't be listening to these niggas. And I think I've seen a comment that I want to address. It's a woman that jumped in here, if I'm not mistaken. I think this is the right person. And she plays the harp. And I love that because that harp was definitely, definitely got its origins in ancient Egypt. Yeah, Cali Sunshine. I got a lot of, a lot of, a lot of love, a lot of respect for, uh, for her and what she does. And that's a very divine lifestyle. And um, I'm proud of it. And I like to see that. And I like to see women doing angelic shit on this planet, because we need to see that, period. We need to be influenced by that. We need to be in tune by that. And the fact that it, it's, for me, it's the, it's the ancient Egyptian connection for me. But with that being said, yeah, man, y'all got to make yourselves, you got to become somebody. I don't know who the fuck that somebody is, because I don't care. I'm not you. But you got to become somebody. And in order to become, you got to be it's just that simple. You know why? Because you're not going to come nowhere that's not good for who you're being. If you're a drug dealer, you're not going to go to the police station. You got to become a police officer for that to be a place that you frequently choose to come. So the person that you're being is determining the place that you are frequently choosing to come. If you are being a dumbass, then you will frequently choose to come to stupid-ass situations. If you're intelligent, You'll, you'll constantly choose to come to intelligent situations. If you're wise, you'll constantly choose to come to wise situations. If you're not, then you'll constantly choose to come to places that you're not. But can't nobody tell you who the fuck you are but you, motherfucker. And you tell yourself who you are every day through your own behavior. And then you blame other people for the shit that you could control and that you chose not to control. And I'm not about to argue with y'all niggas about it. I'm not about to argue with y'all niggas about it at all, at all. I'm going to tell you niggas what? <laughs> I'm going to tell you niggas what? This is what you can become. 
Go ahead, nigga. Go ahead and become the bitch that always has been in you. No disrespect to women, but I'm. this is raw, Dara. Go ahead and become the bitch that you always been. Nigga, you want to be a tiger? Go be a motherfucking tiger, bitch. You want? You been a kid all your life? Bitch, go be a kid. You motherfuckers been watching too much Animal Planet? You want to be a motherfucking cobra? Bitch, that's what you gonna be. But I'm gonna tell you what. This is what I, bitch, I'm loyal to my ancestors. Period. 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 That's all I'll ever be. Is what the fuck I was supposed to be. All this other shit, y'all niggas can have it. You want to be a motherfucking gangster? Go be a gangster, nigga. You want to be a motherfucking uh, a gang member? Go be a gang member. You want to be a motherfucking patient in a hospital? Go be a patient in a hospital. Whatever you choose to be, though, do not complain about what comes with that. Be come. What you be comes with something. And remember, what you say yes to, you might also be saying no to. What you say no to, you might also be saying yes to. This is the game of the mind. Y'all niggas is not, a, I'm trying to, listen, I'm going to tell y'all what, I'm what I'm doing right now. Spiritually, I am an advanced college student. Spiritually, you are a high schooler. If that. Some of y'all niggas is elementary schoolers. And I'm coming out of class, which I don't have to do. I could have kept living my life and interacting with the spirits I ain't doing me. I'm coming out of my own motherfucking mind. And I'm really exposing myself. Because now, I'm not going to say I'm in danger. But now, motherfuckers is looking at me like, how smart is this guy? And you're never supposed to really expose your true power. So now I got to go extra hard defending my vessel because I got to expose my true spirit power and my true mind power to help your ass out. So I'm reaching down from the motherfucking spirit world and I'm, I'm grabbing for a nigga hand. And bitch, you better, you better come up here because I'm, I'm not coming out again. I'm going to tell you that right now. I'm not going to keep exposing my mind to help y'all motherfuckers. You better start following and when I say follow, I don't mean physically follow. Follow with your mind. Watch. Learn. Read. Apply. Follow. I don't got to show my power to lead you to yours. And I'm not going to keep doing it. Period. Period. This is a one-time motherfucking ordeal. And you better get it. And you better get it in this lifetime. Because I'm not going to keep doing this shit. Period. I don't got to show a motherfucker that I got a hundred shots. For you to load your gun. Because you're not even supposed to know I got a hundred shots until you pull up and, and you get every one of them. So I'm not going to keep showing the whole world the power of my mind or, 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 or allowing motherfuckers to peek in. I'm doing this one time because I love you. And I want you to honestly level the fuck up and get out of spiritual seventh grade and bring your ass at minimum to spiritual high school, if not college. Because, bitch, I'm already, I've already graduated spiritual college. I'm in a whole nother motherfucking dimension right now. Period. Bitch, I'm walking through realms in my mind. Take that as fact or fiction. Either way I go, both is true. So with that being said, uh, I hope y'all get it together. I hope, you, I hope you become somebody. I hope you make yourself worthy of something. Nigga, you ain't gotta be, I ain't perfect. Because I'm never gonna be perfect in your mind. Bitch, I'm perfect in mine. And whenever I find something that's not perfect, I tweak it. So with that being said, listen, if you're not looking for perfection in yourself, you're not going to find it. And it's okay to be the shit. You just got to learn how to share. Nigga, I'm that nigga. And if you feel like you that nigga, cool, because we them niggas. But you're not going to tell me I'm not that nigga in order for you to be that nigga. If in order for you to be who you want to be, it means I can't be who I want to be, then bitch, we can't be around each other. Straight up. I'm that nigga. My nuts hang. And I'll punch you in your motherfucking mouth. Oh, you feel like that too? Cool, nigga, we can hang together. <laughs> Cool, we can hang together. Straight up. Straight the fuck up. Straight up. But if you telling me you that nigga and I can't be that nigga, may the best nigga win. May the best nigga win then. Or we got to get the fuck away from each other. So I'm here to tell everybody right now, bitch, I'm a god in my motherfucking mind. I wake up every day and, bitch, I'm just waiting on till I can unlock the ability to levitate. I'm just waiting on till, my, till I can unlock the ability to, to float. Bitch, that's how, that's how far in my mind I'm a guy. And I'm telling you that you are too. And I'm not saying that you, you, you less of a God than me. I'm just saying I'm not less of a God than you. 
And if you don't claim your motherfucking power, bitch, that's on you. But nigga, I'm Hadouken, I'm shooting my shit. Bitch, I'm about to spirit bomb me a motherfucker. So play these motherfucking games with your bitch. You get one life in this body. You get one life. How the fuck you not gonna do your hair? You don't get this hair every day. How you not gonna flex this motherfucking this this beautiful vessel you got? How you not gonna ice this bitch out? Huh? Let me put my other motherfucking grill in. Hold up. Huh? Huh? How you not gonna How you not gonna flex your vessel on a nigga? This is the only time you're gonna be in this vessel. Could you imagine dying and looking back at your whole life and feeling like, damn, I wish I would have said what I wanted to say when I wanted to say it. Damn, I wish I would have did what I wanted to do when I wanted to do. Nope. Not me. Not YP. When I look back on my life, every time I wanted to call somebody a bitch, I, I'm saying. So when I look back on my life, I be like, damn, I called that nigga a bitch. Good. Because that's how I felt at the time. How you not going to speak on how you feel? Motherfucker. How your mind realer than your heart? A nigga, you and, your, you and your mind talking back, but you not in your heart talking back. And that's why you not talking back. Because, nigga, I'm rebellious. You can be talking to me, and I want you to know, nigga, I'm not hot. In the back of my mind, I'm probably like, nigga, shut the fuck up. Let me show y'all something. Let me show y'all something. This is the face I'm giving you while you talking to me. I'm listening. But in the back of my mind, this is what I'm saying. This got to be the dumbest shit I done heard all motherfucking day. I can't wait till this nigga shut the fuck up. Who the fuck is sleeping with this nigga? What kind of broad fuck with this nigga? This stupid, dirty-minded ass motherfucker. Why is this nigga even thinking that he worthy of talking to me about this shit? I don't even want to hear this shit. I wish he would shut the fuck up already. And then when you done talking, I'm going to say, thank you very much. Thank you very much. You know why? Because I control my power, asshole. Because <laughs> I control my power. Period. I don't have to say, I don't have to tell you what I'm thinking when I don't want to, when I don't feel like it, because you're not, a, you're not, you're not a threat in my eyes. But when I feel like it, I'm going to say, nigga, shut the fuck up, because I don't want to hear that shit, nigga. Fuck wrong with you. Get the fuck out my face, bitch. For I beat your motherfucking ass, period. So you got to control, listen, y'all better get, y'all better do some self-work and get your power right. Because you ain't got to respond to every motherfucker that's wasting your time. And you ain't got to waste your time responding to every motherfucker that wants your time. So you better pick and choose who, who, what, where, when, why, and how to give your energy to what you're going through at the moment. There's nothing more powerful than the moment. There's nothing more powerful than what's happening in this live right now. Then when this live is over, something more powerful will begin to take place. But until that something begins, this right here has the end first. So learn how to live in the moment. Learn how to power up. Learn how to get right. Learn how to do what the fuck you want to do. Learn how to live, live a righteous life, but not forfeit your personality. Personality. Your personality is the characteristics of your soul personifying itself through this vessel. Just like personification, you give person-like attributes to a tree. We do this shit all the time. You niggas watch Disney World and the motherfucking snowman be dancing and shit. Nigga, that's you. The only difference between you and an animated character is the animated character is not aware of its own existence. Huh? Your personality is who you are when you become aware of your own self. The motherfucker that's talking shit in the back of their head, that's you. The person that's thinking, that's you. The person that's saying they don't like something, that's you. The person that's saying this is what they really want to do, that's you. And you, and you don't have a good relationship with that person because you keep stuffing that person down to listen to other motherfuckers. Huh? You might have to be a little rebellious to get to yourself. I don't know what your life is like. That might be your journey. You might have to be a little humble. You might have to be other than what you equipped to being at the time in order to get to your higher self. I like to tell niggas, shut the fuck up. It's been times I had to be humble and not say shit in life. Nigga, I know how to get to my higher self. Sometimes you can't walk up the street. You got to jump a fence, motherfucker. You got to cut through a yard. You got to crawl under some shit, nigga, to get to where you got to go. Sometimes you got to jump through a window. Sometimes you got to jump out a motherfucking window. So apparently, 
So a lot of y'all niggas ain't never had to get to where you gotta go, and that's not, and that's why you're not going where you gotta get. And with that being said, I love y'all. 